r slash ask reddit. What's something that gets an unnecessary amount of hate? Everyone, if you're a human being, there is likely many reasons someone would want you dead and countless more. Why people would think you are a horrible person. Humanity in general needs to chill. The amount of people that get death threats over things is ridiculous. I agree. Ear slash news comes to mind for the insane amount of death threats in the comments that the mods don't do anything about. Hating on any version of escapism, be it movies, video games, music, books, etc., makes zero effing sense to me as all are purely optional. No one has to partake in any kind of escapism they don't like, so what the F is the point of hating on a genre of music or certain movies or whatever? It seems like people on that level just want to be mad at something for the sake of being mad. I remember being in college when a friend stated that my enjoyment of video games was a sin because it distracted me from God. I found out later that he was hocked up on a lot of drugs and the stuff he had taken messed up his head something fierce. Years later when I met him, he had no recollection of college. The most celebrated Canadian alt-rock band of the mid-90s, the Bare Naked Ladies. Vegetables. I eat them regularly since I was a kid, and it just blows my mind that there are people who take eating vegetables as punishment, or they need to learn to like it or cook it, because somehow they find it disgusting in raw state. I can't imagine not eating at least one kind of vegetable once a day. I came around on my own. When I was a kid, I couldn't eat them. But as an adult, I'm like asparagus. Broccoli? Yeah. People who have been in jail, I mean they already paid for their crime. Can we let them have a regular job and join society again without spitting on them for the rest of their life? A big part of the problem is that we all subconsciously know that our prisons are about cruel punishment and not rehabilitation. If we as a society got to a point where we valued proper rehabilitation by investing in real counseling and job training for prisoners, maybe the post-incarceration stigma would lessen as well. We set impossible expectations on ex-cons, expecting them to return to society and act upstanding but refuse to give the tools that create that reality. We also have work requirements for those paroled to a society that doesn't want to hire them for anything more than the lowest paying and most physically demanding work. Any media that's particularly popular with teenage girls. The whole basic white girl crap has gotten annoying. That really, anything girls do is basic. Anakin in the Star Wars prequels. Everyone is focused on how hammy and bad his performance was. Meanwhile, he speaks with the same cadence and delivery that Darth Vader had in all the original trilogy movies. He nailed it perfectly, but all it gets is hate. Star Wars was always intended to be a pretty hammy series. George Lucas really nailed it when he set out to make his own Flash Gordon type series. I'll never understand why people can't just enjoy it for the silly, over-the-top space opera that it is. It's easy to forget that Vader threw everyone a dinner party on Bespin. Anakin slash Vader is a character that lives for drama and theater. Guy Fieri. People hate him. Since when? It's calmed down a lot. People on Reddit used to talk a ton of crap about him. He was basically symbolic of Food Network, History Channel, Tulsi, Channel, Talksy, etc. Swapping out high effort, informative content for reality TV shows. He's also goofy. Af and I think some people got annoyed by the over-the-top Flavor Town talk. Then it gradually came to light that he was a legit good dude. Charity work, cooking for firefighters, etc. Who happened to collect a paycheck for acting like a goober on TV. And people softened their stance on him. Old people doing young people trends. They just want to be a part of the fun. I'm in my 40s. I play Pokemon Go with my 16-year-old son. It's something fun we can do together. We started playing when it first launched, back in 2016. I openly admit that I'm crap at this game. He is not. As a meat-eater, I'm going to have to go with vegans. I don't think I will ever be one personally. I also don't think they deserve as much hate as they get, especially when you consider that most slash all of it is a result of crap they don't. In all my years of hanging out with squishy lefty people, I have yet to meet one of those fabled militant vegans that my racist uncle warned me about. Pop music. Don't like Taylor Swift. Don't listen to her music. It has literally never in the entire breadth of human history been easier to find music that fits your taste. I think it's some people's insecurities and the fear they might like something that might be perceived a certain way and how that could potentially be reflected back on the listener. Hmm, who gives AF, honestly? I'll add to that and say that some people identify themselves by just going against the grain on things. They built an ego on not liking what's popular 
but ironically disliking popular things for the sake of it being popular is just as shallow as the people who identity only as an avid watcher of the office. iPhone slash Android hatred. Who the F cares what phone other people have? I like my Apple. Why do people have to tell me their Android is superior and my phone is trash when they see that? These brand wars are just a way for companies to get you to identify with their product, get entrenched and never consider their competitor. It also gets you to do free marketing for them whenever you argue with your friend about why your thing is better.